Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Billings Clinic and I'm here today to talk about heart attack awareness. Did you know heart disease is the number one killer of both men and women? So today we're going to meet with both a cardiologist and an ER doctor to talk about the signs and symptoms of a heart attack and why calling 911 is so important. But here's a twist. What we're going to do is we're going to put those doctors under some of their own stresses with the help of some of my friends like Fred the Cockroach here and Mesa the Gopher Snake. Come on inside and join me. I am joined by two of the great doctors of Billings Clinic, Dr. Thompson, an ER doctor here, and Dr. Plank, a cardiologist. Now the important thing is, is to know the signs and the symptoms of a heart attack. And imagine this, there is a lot of reluctance to call 911. Now Dr. Thompson, of course, there, obviously I would imagine heart attacks are very scary, but why on earth would somebody be reluctant to call 911? Well, they might be scared. They might be in denial that they're having a heart attack. They might not want to inconvenience their family or call an ambulance to their house in the middle of the night um, and they just don't recognize the signs or symptoms of a heart attack. Now Dr. Dr. Plank, a question for you is that when somebody calls 911 and you guys are pre preparing for this individual to come in, what do you guys do here at the hospital to prepare for that? Well Jeff, time is muscle when it comes to a heart attack. As soon as emergency services are contacted, we can begin to prepare for a patient's arrival. If it turns out that the patient is actually having a heart attack, this can be identified in the field by the EMT crew. The ambulances in Yellowstone County are able to transmit EKGs and other patient identification uh, information to the emergency room so that we're ready for them. And we have a team of doctors, nurses, and technicians who are on call 24 hours a day in our cardiac cath lab. The amazing thing to me is that calling 911 can actually shave about 20 minutes really off of your prep time, getting things ready here. So basically it's adding 20 minutes to your survival time. Is that true? That's exactly that right, Jeff. That's am it amazes me. All right, so you guys know we brought you here today to make this incredible video about heart attack awareness. But the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to have a little contest between the doctors here to see if you really know the signs and symptoms of a heart attack here today. So what we're going to do is we're going to have 60 seconds on the clock, and I want you to go back and forth with the different signs and symptoms of a heart attack. But as you guys are going back and forth, I'm going to increase your stress load. See if we can get that heart rate up a little bit to show some of those true signs. And the way I'm going to do that, well, I've got a couple friends of the zoo that I'm going to introduce to you. All right, go. Chest pain. Chest pressure. Shortness of breath. Trouble breathing. Nausea. Uh, sweating. Vomiting. Fatigue. Uh, heartburn. Um, sweating. <laughs> uh, back pain. Sweating. No, I think you said that. A, a feeling of I'm sweating. doom. I see sweat. Uh. Inability okay. to talk. <laughs> um, shortness of breath. Anxiety. Oh. Dizziness. You guys okay? Draw pain. Palpitations, like your heart is racing. 10 seconds. Neck pain. Feeling of fullness. Draw pain. What? Wow. We're up. We're taught. You guys did unbelievable under the pressure that you were <laughs> under. This is real. I mean, this is true fear that you're seeing here. You guys did great. And we got to thank these guys, the Madagascar hissing cockroach. Not so bad when you see them up close. This is Fred, by the way. And then we've got Mesa, who is a gopher snake found down in the south. We have snakes like this here in Montana. But pretty cool looking animal and pretty nice, yeah, right? Yeah, he's pretty nice. <laughs> now get him off you. Is that what you're trying yes, to say? Please. Sure. Guys, thank you both so much for all the wisdom you did here today. And of course, being good sports with these animals, I will take your anxiety level down and I will remove these animals for you. But again, what you guys did is just valuable and hopefully, as we said, save some lives. So guys, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at the Billings Clinic. And remember, call 911. Uh, 58 versus what? Here at the clinic, and, and basically what it's doing is adding 20 minutes to your survival rate. I mean, that's just amazing to think about. That's correct.
<laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Heart felt good. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Uh, just say, <laughs> yep. Now I'm like, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you were too excited. Yeah, now I'm too excited. Shortness of breath. Sweating. Oh, no. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do that again. <laughs> 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 well, what's the number if you guys reach that? We should be concerned. Uh, if it stops. <laughs> <laughs> I need you out there doing what you guys do best, so I'll help you out. But thank you for all of your hard work today, and again, that wisdom that hopefully will save some lives out there. So guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Billings Clinic, and remember, call 911. <laughs> Oh, for Pete's sakes here. Let's put these back on. <laughs> oh my gosh. I assume I can't be laughing when I say call 911, so we're gonna have to do that again. Alright, one last time here. You are, what is that alarm going off here? We do. It's ST elevated. It's okay if it's BB. It's just. It really. Are you doing it? It's a snake. It's a snake.